Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We're in uh, the beautiful bay of Brienza. I hope I pronounce it correctly this time. <laughs> uh, we stayed here quite a while actually. Uh, it's uh, It's been already... One week. We arrived last Even Saturday. We did? Yes. Okay. Felt uh, like a little bit more than a week. <laughs> But um, it's beautiful here. Uh, we're surrounded by by a mountain range, like the northern mountain range of uh, of uh, Mallorca, which is absolutely gorgeous. And we're so well protected here. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of weather it is outside. We're uh, we're completely uh, protected here. No no swell, no nothing. Right? Never. You slept not like a baby. You said yesterday. For seven days, yeah, Sweetness. absolutely. Even with um, high winds and everything, we heard there was no swell. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great to uh, to catch up on on work um, when you found an anchorage like this. Uh, you know, like it's calm. You can edit. You can uh, write blocks. You can we can clean the boat. We. Uh, we can go provisioning and stuff. It's the harbor, like the dinghy dock is right, right there, like uh, maybe 500 meters in that direction. So that is pretty and cool. And there is a dinghy dock. There I mean, is. we've been to so many places where there wasn't, and you weren't even allowed to um, park your dinghy somewhere at the beach. Yeah, exactly. So we had to swim. No, we never did that. <laughs> Yeah, um, um, so a lot of stuff came up. We were uh, thinking, uh, obviously, we're thinking about um, what to do next for winter and and uh, where to go next. And we were not really sure. We knew we know that we're gonna cross the Atlantic in 2020. That's a biggie. Um, but in between now and then, um, there are a lot of options, and uh, you were uh, you were looking up a lot of stuff. Right. Yes, you yes, did some that's right. Yesterday. So yes, I did a lot of research, and um, there is this um, cool Facebook group. It's called. Um so we had a little bit of a mess up with the cameras. Uh, we had two cameras rolling, and one the audio wasn't playing or wasn't going, and the other one didn't film, and it was a little bit of a Charlie Fox trouble. So. Um, here it is. Uh, Ria was talking about the Facebook group she found um, called Women Who Sailed the Met. Um, they were helping a lot um, with finding the marina that we're going to stay in the winter 2019. Um, very helpful, uh, super cool comments, very good recommendations and um, we decided to sail to Sicily, to the south side of Lis uh, Sicily, to Licata. Um, and we're gonna tuck in there for a few months in the Marina di Cala del Sole, which is a super cool cala and um, basically very affordable. So that's where we're picking up right now. Okay, so where where um so where yeah. were we? Um, Sicily. 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 So we've both never been to Sicily, so this yeah. is going to be fun. Especially, I've been to I've been to Ischia though. Ischia is very close to Sicily. Sicily. All right. It's uh, you, it's reachable by Naples by ferry, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. So definitely place to check out as well. It's a little island um, in this area. Wow, there's so much to see there. Yes, absolutely, and Sweet. like the volcanoes and stuff. But yeah, I'm I'm way ahead. Um, so. I sent an email to this marina and um, I got a response very quickly, very friendly, like very detailed already. But the next sentence was like, you own a lagoon, right? So are you in the club lagoon? Because they have a special promotion and it will only cost you for the whole seven months like 1600 uh, euros i mean that's way less than we even paid in san carlos and that was uh, san carlos was considered the cheapest yeah. cheapest port in um in the western med oh, yeah. it's a beautiful port though and everything but there is nothing going on there so i'm really excited uh, that we yeah. found uh, found this this uh this this uh, port it doesn't mean that we're gonna stay there for like seven months like you know i mean we're gonna stay there but we're gonna go explore around oh, and absolutely. Uh, yeah i mean even May, we never know maybe next spring is going to be way better than the spring we had um, this year mm -hmm. and so we could go and explore like we can even sail to uh, Greece we could so yeah, yeah but um, 
So we, we made the booking already, so this is um, set in stone. Yes. And um, I even made, because it was dirt cheap to uh, fly back to Switzerland with EasyJet, they have direct flights uh, to Basel, my hometown. Mm -hmm. And so I already booked the flights um, back to Switzerland and back to Sicily. Yes. For season two. For season two. Pow, pow. Yes. I'm so excited. So so now you guys know what, what we're up to and what's going to happen next. Um, I'm very excited that we can get some more open ocean experience now, like uh, yeah. with the crossing to uh, to Sardinia. I'm very excited about Sardinia as well. Yeah. And then the crossing to uh, to Sicily, which is just uh, I don't know, 150 miles or something. Like yeah, it's not too too not um, too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. And I'm but bad. we're gonna we're gonna wait for a few more days here on Mallorca before we go back to Menorca mm. because we don't want to be in Sardinia before begin of September. Yeah. I'm pretty sure um, it's not so crowded anymore because everybody is always talking about August is the first months to go to Sardinia because it's so crowded it's mm -hmm. so ridiculously expensive and yeah but but um, before I forget for you guys to know we are really full-time uh, liverboards and um, we only go back to Switzerland for two months to celebrate my grandma's nine years birthday and then um, we also spend Christmas with the family and my mom's 70th birthday in the beginning of January and it's a great opportunity for me or for both of us to go back home to work. Mm -hmm. I'm working at the Christmas market again in Zurich. Everyone who's in Zurich, by the way, um, over Christmas should definitely go to the Christmas market at, uh, at um, Bellevue. Yeah. It's the most beautiful, the most coolest Christmas market in town. And uh, Ria is working there and maybe yeah. you and I will see. Yes. And uh, yeah, it starts end of November and it goes on for one month. So that's really cool that um, we're able to make some money for a month. Yeah. And um, yeah, but in beginning of January, like 8th of January, we fly back to Sicily already. And so it, this gives us a lot of time to work on Koru and explore the explore island. The island too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. Me too. Uh, really looking forward to this. The Italian kitchen, you know, the cuisine. Very good, I hear. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah. We're watching The Godfather right mm. now, so. <laughs> he will drive me crazy. Yes, I will. <laughs> so, anyways, that's uh, our plans for, for the next few months. Well, actually, we already have plans until uh, next spring. And next spring. I December because yeah. we know we know that we're gonna cross absolutely but there. but we we haven't really figured out what to do in spring like where to go are okay, we going yeah, to be yeah, able yeah. to go up to Greece a little bit maybe yeah. and and uh, how's the political situation and everything so is it easier to um, is it easy enough to like sail to Tunisia and then this side uh, along the street of Gibraltar or mm. should we go back like to the islands and then to the coast of Spain? Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, maybe some of you have uh, recommendations for us. We've never cruised uh, in the Mediterranean. We have never cruised anywhere else. <laughs> on so, Lake Zurich. On Lake Zurich, yeah. <laughs> no, but it, maybe some, uh, some, some of you, uh, you know, have like uh, super special uh, places um, or there's a place you want to see, you've never been there, but you definitely want to see it, and but you just don't have the chance at the moment. Let us know. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can swing by and uh, take a few pictures for you guys, you know? Why not? Absolutely. That reminds me, um, it's not that we only sit here and do nothing. Even yesterday, mm. you, you um, spent I was editing. the whole day on the computer yeah so what did you research anyways um well i watched uh, two documentaries okay like um i mean cartoons <laughs> no don't don't laugh it's really i mean you know how i struggle sometimes with the internet right yeah so i, I watched them um, uh, it was called ralph breaks the internet i think 
So I just wondered how other people deal with this. Okay. You know? And uh, so was it? Did, did you did you learn something or? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, and the oh second one was a, a really authentic one for us. Yeah. Yeah. It was called the uh, Pirate Ferry. <laughs> Why am I not surprised right now? <laughs> she had wings. She did. Yeah. Oh, it was really cool. oh my god, I wish I would have wings to fly away right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but um, that's that. So now you know our plans, you know what we're up to in the next few months. It's going to be very, very interesting for us. I hope we're going to make it interesting for you guys as well, because there's a lot of adventures waiting out there for us still. Yeah. And um, Yeah, and thank you so much uh, for sticking around with us and yeah. uh, be part of this part. be part of record Evie. um we, we really appreciate your support um you're you're always we're always uh very very happy to read um the comments that you guys leave us and the likes i always love it when when maya you know your friend she always tells me that the very end of our videos like where we you know like which is always the same part uh, that she always get goosebumps and makes really uh, makes her want to go and travel with us. So this is that's that's it's all about that. That's why we're doing it. We we love doing this and we love doing it for you guys and with you guys. And we hope really hope that we inspire people, you know, to yeah. to do that themselves. Yeah. Because it is a beautiful world world out there, and everybody should see as much as possible of it. True. True that, right? True that. Cool? Yeah. That being said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and ring the bell so you get notified when we upload new content. And um, become a patron. Exactly. You should swing by our Patreon site yeah. www.patreon.com forward slash Sailing Coral. Yeah, that would really, really help us a lot. Exactly. There are different tiers. There are small tiers. There are uh, medium-sized tiers. There are larger tiers where we also donate uh, a part of it to a marine conservation program, which means a lot to us. You don't have to commit to anything. You can set your monthly limit. Yeah. If you have any questions about Patreon and how it works, um, just you know, leave a comment or get in contact with us. You can. Uh, find our email in uh, on our website sailingkoru or korutribe.com um, Yeah, get in contact with us. We're happy to answer any questions for you guys Thank you so much. Thank you very much and see you out there